Hello YouTube, quick reminder that this video does not break any of your community guidelines or firearms policies. I'll be the same, bye bye! Come on now. There we go. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Print Sheet Repeat. Today we have a 3D printed Beretta 92FS. But before we get into that, I want to thank KK Industry for being the sponsor of this channel. They are a company that makes primarily parts for ARs, but other stuff too. They've been in business for just over 10 years right here in the USA. So check them out, kkindustry.com. You can get 10% off with the code PSR. So check him out. All right, so this is a beta design that's currently still being flushed out right now. So we're gonna take that and understand that this is still being developed. This is designed by Gerald Katz. You can see his logo there. I will put his socials down below. This is incredible because it uses 3D printed rails that are integrated into the frame. That's not normally something that you could do. Um, we're gonna see how many rounds we can get out of this. Hopefully we don't run into any cracks or anything, but I did paint this with a ceramic based spray paint. It's an engine enamel, a duplicolor makes it. So we're gonna see how that does, if that adds any strength or anything. I just wanted to change the color of it because it was this lime green and I wanted to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to fit kind of the cool look of it. And I painted these grips, they were originally white. This is a 92FS Beretta. If you're not familiar with the 92FS or just with the Beretta 92 in general, it was made by Beretta in 1975. It's one of the most popular handguns in the world. It's been used by numerous armed forces. The United States military used this pistol from 1985 till just recently as the service pistol for the armed forces of the U.S. And they have since switched to the SIG M17, but the Breda M9, which was the variant used by the military, was in service for quite a few years. I guess, yeah, that's like 30 years, some, something like that. That's pretty impressive, and uh, I can't wait to shoot this thing. Nine millimeter, and it's got a hammer here and a decocker for the safety. So it is, uh, it's gonna have a nice trigger, I'm guessing. Feels pretty great. Can't wait to try this thing. Let's get it out and try it, test it. We're gonna go one hand at first, see how it shoots. If everything goes well, we'll uh, do a little shooting montage. All right, come on, let's go get it. Another thing I forgot to mention that this is Obviously a very popular pistol, so it's been used in a lot of movies. Die Hard probably being the most famous lethal weapon, Terminator, The Matrix, you name it. The Beretta 92 has probably been in it. All right, we're giving it a shot here. First time shooting the Beretta 92, 3D printed. I'm going to get out of the way of the slide in case those rails break off, but I think it should be good. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Safety, decocker, looks okay. Let's go for another one. Looks like we got a feeding issue here. Didn't quite feed. All right, the one thing about the design of this pistol, take the mag out here, is this slide reciprocates but the barrel stays on a plane so it's unlike a, a glock where the barrel tilts up and goes down when it fires it stays put which is cool because it uh, helps if you're suppressing it you don't need a nielsen device on the front of it because that barrel is just staying fixed which is a cool feature all right let's uh let's see if we can not run any malfunctions here just gonna go from the side here, make sure that doesn't pop out on me. All right, no issues there. Oh, wow. All right, let's use a decocker here. Got one chambered. All right, we're clear. 
other than that little feeding issue, everything's great. Uh, I guess we'll finish this mag out. This is a capacity of 15 plus 1 in this mag. Uh, but yeah, let's finish it out. I think it's okay to shoot now, uh, normally. All right. I'm going to do the long pull of the hammer here first, see what that feels like. Oh. All right. Maybe a light primer strike, or did I not fit chamber around? Oh, I did chamber around. That's a light primer strike. All right, let's cock it back. All right, here we go. Good. And another light primer strike. Looks like we got another light primer strike. Huh, okay. Good to know. Let's uh, chamber another round here. There we go. And another light primer strike, or are we out? No, we are out. Okay, so the slide didn't lock back. The slide should lock back like that, uh, but it did not. So I'm not as familiar with, this is my first time actually shooting a Beretta 92. So I'm still getting used to the manual of arms. I'm gonna decock our safety here. But we had a little bit, little malfunctions. Let's load another mag and see how it does. All right, we're back here with the Breda 92. I'm gonna talk in a little bit of a superhero voice because uh, I feel like I'm an action star now. So we're gonna chamber around, keep shooting this thing. Hopefully we can get through a mag. All right, let's do it. Let's cock this back. Oh, light primer strike, I think. Shit. Come on now. There we go. Oops. Light primer strike again, I think. Let's try it again. Another light primer strike. How are we doing? Looks all right. Couple light primer strikes again. Another light primer strike. Come on, come on now. Alrighty. Oh no, we're out. All right, so we're not getting any slide lock back. Don't know what that issue could be, but this is still a beta test. So I think we should keep going, keep shooting this thing. What do you say? All right, next we're gonna do a mag dump, long dick style. Hopefully we don't run into any malfunctions or light primer strikes. We'll see how the Beretta does. Let's go, slow motion. <laughs> So with our Beretta, we've got a clear issue, and that is light primer strikes. But it's not the Beretta I found out. It's the ammo. I bought some cheap Turkish brass case ammo, which I'm regretting now because it ran great with some Winchester. This is 115 grain, but it did not run great with the Turkish shit. So it's not an issue with the gun. It's an issue with the ammo. So... We're gonna keep shooting the ammo. We may run into some light primer strikes, but we're gonna fucking power through them, baby, yeah.
All right, so that concludes our video on the Beretta 92FS 3D printed by Gerald Katz. Still in beta. Uh, these kits cost around 250 to 300 bucks ish. I'm sure the price will go up soon. So if you want to build this, hop on it. You know, this was a great, great test. We did run into some issues with light primer strikes, but that was not a result of the pistol. That was a result of the ammo, okay? Don't get it twisted. This was a result of fucked up ammo. And the Beretta 92 made me feel like a superhero. Felt like Bruce Willis out there. So, damn. Gerald Katz, props to you. This is on the DD Rocket Chat as we speak. Thank you to everyone involved in this project. I put 200 rounds for this thing without really any hiccups. The rails, uh, we can check to see if they're holding up well, but I'm pretty sure they are. Let's see how these rails held up. They're looking fine. No chips or cracks. It's pretty insane. This is PLA Plus, by the way. Uh, this is Esun, but Polymaker will work fine. I've got a link for my Polymaker homies. Affiliate link in the description. Holy smokes, you know, there's a lot of carbon in here, but the rails, 3D printed rails, held up great. It's pretty insane. So I still need a little bit of practice when it comes to shooting hammer-fired guns. Got to get that grip nice and strong. Someone described it to me as choking the snake. Sometimes I choke the snake by myself in my room, but this is a different kind of choking the snake. And anyway, I want to say thank you again to everyone involved in this project. That's it for this episode of Print, Shoot, Repeat. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And if you're on the pooper and you're delaying the wipe, I salute you. Thanks for watching the video. Till next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>